you welcome to my channel and today I have a sort of theatre vlog for you today we're going to go to a family show called Dinosaur World Live it's on at the Lowry Theatre in Salford uh, it's on in their Lyric Theatre which is the bigger theatre and it features lots of dinosaurs and obviously my children love dinosaurs so they're so excited to go and see it um, it's a two o'clock showing it's half twelve now so we're gonna go ahead out get the tram we need to get two trams uh, from we live to get to the Lowry our tickets have kind of been gifted by the Lowry for their press day um, so we're really excited and um, we will obviously show you around the theatre show you where we're sat show you our seats show you if they've got any merch I'm not sure if they have we'll have a look and I think you are allowed to take um, videos and photography in this show I'll check once I get there but I'm pretty sure it is allowed at this show so hopefully I'll be able to put maybe a few yeah. clips maybe some photos in this vlog as well so obviously we'll review it once we get home and see what the kids thought of it and yeah I hope you enjoy this little video so we're just at the tram stop now tram should be coming any second it is nearly one o'clock so my aim was to get there for half one i'm not sure we will because obviously we've got to wait for the next tram but we might do we'll see it starts at two so as long as we're there before two hello tram the tram there it is just got off the tram now we're just walking over to the theatre which is just in front of us we actually got here quite early I think it's like quarter past one because we we're really lucky as soon as we got off our first tram the second tram was just pulling up so we didn't have to wait so that was lucky so quite early now um Alice didn't have her lunch before we came so she's got a sandwich in a bag so she's gonna eat that hopefully before we go in and yeah I'll get back to you now once we're inside the theatre just walking up to it now. Alice is very excited. Are you excited for the dinosaur show? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah.
So it's about half one now, just waiting for the auditorium to open. Shed and start till two. They did have some merch actually, they had some nice little dinosaur soft toys. They were about 15 pounds, but they're only small. They had them little like dinosaur pinchy things. It's like a dinosaur on a head and you squeeze the things to make it. Uh, that was um, six pounds. Lauren's just taken the pram. It goes to the cloak room yep. and they give you a little tag, did they? Yep. Oh, so that's better organised than last time we came. Last time you just dumped your pram and I had to find it at the end, so, so at least that's a bit more organised. So you get a little token with a number oh, on, so what the number your pram is. So, yeah, so we took, just took the pram to the cloak room, which is just down, go down the slope, this is like the bottom floor at the cloak room is. So yeah, now we're just waiting for the auditorium to open now. Lawrence wouldn't let the children buy anything because he's just, he's very tight, aren't they, Lauren? Yep. <laughs> so yeah, they couldn't get anything, even though they love dinosaurs. So yeah, I'm going to see if the kids will eat something because they wouldn't, they didn't eat all the lunch before we left, so we'll see if they'll eat something before we go. So on the way in, all the children got given a little dinosaur sticker. So I think Alice has already lost hers. This one's Leo's. You're gonna put it in your pocket, aren't you? You don't lose it. So we've got e-tickets for this show. I've just got them on my phone here. So we're gonna go through door A and we're on row P. Seats 28 to 31. So we're probably going in in probably about 10 minutes, I think. <laughs> Sticker. The nice lady said she could have another one because you lost your other one, didn't you? Yeah, lost him now. She's got a sticker now. And I think she gave Leo another one as well. So Leo's got two stickers. Okay. Are we excited for the dinosaurs, Alice? Yeah. So I just picked some booster seats from the cloakroom so we can see. Yeah, there's Leo on his booster. So.
the show has finished now, but everyone's having like a little meet and greet so you can go to the front of the stage doing it row by row. So I'm just waiting for our turn because Leah wants to see the dinosaur, don't you? Just waiting for our turn. Oh, we go. Next group. So filter on down, filter on down, make sure to get nice and bunched up. The more bunched up we are, the quicker we can all go home. And then as you can be, it's fantastic. So kids, right up the front, squeeze your shoulder to shoulder, move all the way to the right as much as you can. Yeah. Thank you for Squeeze. Keep on coming. Give it a stroke, Leo. There we go. Did you get to stroke it? Yeah. So, Leo managed to stroke a dinosaur. I couldn't really film it because I just couldn't get him in because we're all packed in. But we're going to go in to the Lowry Mall now and get some food because everyone's hungry. So, we're just in the Lowry Outlet Mall now, just getting some lunch. We just went to Burger King. Got some chicken nuggets. So just at the tram stop now, just waiting for the tram, it should be doing six minutes. Yeah, here's our last tram of the day. Last tram home. Hi, so we are now back from the show. It's actually quite a bit later, the children are actually in bed. Um, but we really, really enjoyed the show today. It was so much fun. Alice and Leo loved it. They absolutely loved dinosaurs. So to them, to them, it was actually, uh, it was amazing seeing life-size dinosaurs. They'd never seen, like, dinosaurs that big before and they really, really enjoyed it. Alice was a little scared at some point. She's a, she's a bit more timid than Leo, but Leo loved it. Um, and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, we were kindly gifted our tickets by the Lowry for the press day. I think the tickets are usually £18.00. Uh, each. I think the adult price is the same as the kids price. I think it's £18 no matter where you sit in the auditorium. So yeah, which actually I don't think is too bad of, of a price. It's probably about the average price for kids shows these days. We've been to a few and they've all been about £18. So the show that we went to today started at 2pm. We got the tram there. It's really easy to get to. If we get the Eccles tram it stops at Media City and literally the theatre is just across from that tram stop so when we got to the theatre we had our pram with us so we took that down to the cloakroom which is just opposite the toilets the stores toilets so it's just opposite there um, you don't have to pay to put your pram in um, if you want to put other stuff in I think it's a pound per item but your prams are free to put in um so we gave that in we were given like a little key ring i think with a number on uh, last time we went um they didn't do that they just took everyone's pram and put it in and then when you went to collect it just said all oh, guests get your pram so it's a lot more organized today than last time when they took the pram um so that was good so that was it's quite simple um to get rid of your pram um booster seats usually they have them like outside the door when you go in um, but you had to go to the cloakroom and pick up booster seats if you wanted a booster seat. Um, so we did that because Leo's obviously quite small and he had an adult sat in front of him. So we went and got a booster seat for Leo. I did get one for Alice, but she doesn't like sitting on them, so she wouldn't sit on them. But luckily for her, I think it was just a child sat in front of her, so she could see quite easily, so she was okay. But yeah, if you wanted booster seats, you had to go to the cloakroom and ask for them. So yeah, we were sat in the stalls. We were on row P, I think it was. So it's 28, 29, 30 and 31 I think it was. So we're on, we're in like the middle section on the end of a row. Our view was excellent, I thought we had a really good view from there. We'll definitely sit there again. Children could see okay. Um, so yeah, it was a good view. So they did actually have some merchandise for the show. I wasn't sure if they would have some, any, but I should have known being a kids show, the Bounds have merchandise, aren't they? Um, so yeah, they had like a few soft plush toys i think they were 15 pounds each but they were only small um so they were qu quite expensive i thought for 15 pounds but they were very, very nice they also had like a dinosaur mask i think that was 10 pounds they had them like dinosaur pincers so you have like a dinosaur head and you press um a little thing on a stick it makes a dinosaur do that they had those i think those were six pounds i wanted to get one for leo because he loves that would have loved that but lawrence wouldn't let me buy him one but i thought six pound wasn't too bad but 
he wouldn't like me as being mean but Leo would have loved one of them they also had a program poster um, I didn't really get a good look at that but uh, maybe it had, must have the cast list on it or something I don't know but we didn't get one I think they were £3.50 so the recommended age range for the show is 3 plus uh, which I think is probably about right um, my children were are 3 and 5 and they both absolutely loved it um, the show itself is only 50 minutes long again perfect for that age range because after about that sort of time they start to get a bit bored um, but they were fully engaged with the show and really enjoyed it. The only bit that I found was probably a bit slow to start when um, Miranda, the sort of the host, and she's sort of telling the story um, about the dinosaurs. And I think at that stage the kids were getting a bit bored of and just wanted to see the dinosaurs. But as soon as the dinosaurs came out, all the kids were like totally engaged, loving the show. So you get to meet several dinosaurs in the show. There is a Triceratops, a Giraffe Titan, Microraptor, Stegosaurus, and obviously the giant T-Rex. I think there's a baby T-Rex as well, and a baby Triceratops. So yeah, and with each dinosaur, uh, Miranda, like the host, was giving you a few facts about each dinosaur. She also, for, I think for almost most dinosaurs, got a child up on stage and they were able to like, feed the dinosaur or like one girl was brushing the dinosaur, um, which was really fun for all the children. So it was a very interactive show. She, they got the kids shouting out things. Um, when Titan, the big T-Rex came on, when they wanted him to go away, they got all the kids to roar. Um, and try and scare away. Leo loved that bit. Leo was roaring loud. He really enjoyed the interaction of the show. So the puppets in this show are absolutely stunning. They're so lifelike. Uh, the puppeteers in this are amazing. The way they make the creatures move, they look, move like so realistically. Um, also the puppeteers are also doing all the sound effects for the dinosaurs as well. Um, which were all really good and made them seem even more real. I actually think my children did think they were real. I don't think they realised that they were puppets. I actually think they thought they were real dinosaurs. They were that good. Um, I definitely think the highlight was probably the massive T-Rex um, called Titan. All the, all the dinosaurs had names and the big T-Rex were called Titan. So yeah, they really enjoyed that. There was a meet and greet with one of the dinosaurs at the end of the show. I think it was the baby T-Rex. Um, and they were doing it row by row so each row would come up um, and meet the dinosaur they squished you all up quite tight and um, then they just quickly took the dinosaur across the stage and you could pat it you couldn't really take pictures with it because it was they moved him so fastly across uh, Leo just about managed to put his hand on the dinosaur before it, it was quickly moved across the stage um, but he loved patting it he really enjoyed that he got to touch it uh, he really enjoyed that Alice didn't want to go and do it um, I think because she saw like I think I said before she saw all the big crowd at the front and she doesn't like crowds so she didn't she stayed at the back with daddy while I took Leo to have a go but yeah I was hoping to get a picture of Leo with it but um no, they were just moving so fast, I don't even think I got a video of him touching it, it went so fast, but he really enjoyed that part of it, even if it was quite a quick, like, he got to touch, he was just fascinated that he got he got to touch it. Um, but yeah, I have to say it was a bit chaotic, that bit, at the end. So as a kids show, I would give this four stars, my kids thoroughly enjoyed it, I think Leo would go back again if I, if I let him, he would definitely go back. I think Alice would as well. I said Alice did get a little bit scared um, when the big dinosaur came on because he was quite loud uh, but she really enjoyed the rest of it and like I said the puppets are so well made um, you don't even like notice the puppeteers because you're so busy looking at the puppets. So yeah like I said I definitely give the show four stars. If you can go and see it while it's at the Lowry definitely go. Like I said the tickets are £18 per person. I'll leave a link below to where you can get tickets from for the Lowry. I'll also leave a link below for um, the Dinosaur World Live official website. On there also lists um, all the tour uh, dates and where it will be touring. So if you don't live near 
the Lowry, you can look on there and see um, if it's coming to a theatre near you. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.